guys, we woke up today in the Four Canoes Hotel in Rotorua. And it's actually our fourth time here in Rotorua, but it's the first time we're actually spending a night in the hotel. Um, and it's so exciting and we're really amazed by our plans, what we have to show in yeah. this weekend. Yeah, but we will never achieve all our goals if we are not going for breakfast right now. So I suggest to oh, yeah. stop filming in the hotel room and move to the hotel restaurant. This hotel appears to be really huge, like they have 50 uh, rooms. So in order to get to the restaurant, we actually have to go outside and go to the next building. Yeah, here we are. Look how cool they did all these activities that you can actually see them. And if you're new to the city, you're not lost here and understand where to go. So Forkenois Hotel is actually located on the like main hotel streets. There are a lot of hotels and cafes around. But why to go anywhere else when there is such a great choice in here already? For example, this muesli bar looks really intriguing. And also, I will show you my personal favorite. In this station, you can make different toasties, like sweet ones, not sweet ones. And here is the peanut butter. Impossible to live in New Zealand and not to love a peanut butter. The water is really warm here. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, it is. Uh, actually, they have three different pools in this hotel. One is with the cold water that uh, you would never want to experience in winter, I guess. This one is a hot water pool. And there is also a small, tiny, like a jacuzzi pool that is actually heated with the thermal water. That's why you can feel the specific smell in here. So we have a map now and I can try to read the actual name of the forest. It is Fakareva Reva. Fakareva Reva Forest. So we will start with probably the main activity of this place that are the bridges above the ground level and you walk like half a kilometer and can see the forest from the above. I think it's really cool experience. And then we will go and take one of the tracks. There are heaps of them here, like from one a small one kilometer track to 11 kilometers, I guess, the, the largest one. So the thing is, you can't actually touch the trees while walking on these bridges, though they may be really close to the bridges. But here is the place that explains why. Because this is the piece of a wood that was touched by the visitors of the forest for about a year. And you can clearly see the difference of how it was and how it became. So if you don't want to ruin everything that nature created, please don't touch it. <laughs> Those strange shaped things are actually the lights because this bridge you can not only take during the day but also at night and it will be enlightened in different colors like pink, blue, red or maybe I invented pink but never mind. And uh, so yeah, if you want to have both daylight and night experience it will actually cost you cheaper. For example, we paid $25 now and if you take two tours in a day it will only cost you $35.
staying at a place called Pig and Whistle. That's a really interesting place located in the city center. And uh, what's interesting about this is the history of the building itself. Because at the beginning of the century, I mean of the 20th century, not the 21st of course, it belonged to the police and it was an actual police station. And now it's an oldest pub in Rotorua. Look at this. This is probably the biggest burger I ever seen. Pretty sure. So here is beef, bacon and mushroom yeah. with the uh, curly fries and size can be changed to salad if you wish but I guess no one has salad with this kind of burger it's just doesn't make sense <laughs> oh I have no idea how to eat it that those burgers probably were too epic for us so we decided to give our bodies some time to do its job and just to relax and do nothing and uh, Vaikito Valley helped us with that we are now at such a spa complex where you can have a private pool like we do right now or uh, just choose one of six pools around the valley and they're all geothermally heated and it's like a super natural healthy water in terms of prices the entrance to this spa costs 16 dollars and 50 cents uh, for that price you only get the general admission for those six pools but if you pay 27 dollars you also get the 40 minutes uh, access to this private pool which is totally amazing and you can even control the temperature in this pool yourself how cool is that and you also get free towels and free bottle of water which I think is super generous for $27 and I'm absolutely happy that we had an opportunity to spend our evening here Wow, frankly speaking I can barely walk now I'm so relaxed and warmed up and everything so I think it's time for us to get back to the hotel we're actually staying in another hotel today but we will show you uh, around the hotel in the next vlog so don't miss it on Saturday don't forget that our vlogs are live on Tuesdays and Saturdays and thanks for watching hope it wasn't a struggle for you with our English accent it's our first experience so let us know in comments how it was and what should we improve what were we good at and you know that we really really appreciate your comments thanks for watching this video and see you soon bye bye